Hi guys, Coach David McMahon, Maximum Life Academy. Okay, pull up a drink, settle down, and let's uh, let's get to the root cause of why insecurity is killing your attraction with women. Now, let's have a look at the symptoms of low self-esteem. Okay, essentially low self-esteem. I had it when I was younger. Uh, and it's a killer. You know, it, it, you, you don't feel like you're worthy. You're constantly thinking of negative things. You want somebody in your life, but you don't believe you, you're worthy of it. All of those negative connotations. But the symptoms of, of low self-esteem is you have a low self-opinion of yourself. Okay, so you just don't feel like you can do things. You think other people are living a better life than what you are. And there's just things in your life where you just want to change, but you feel like you're stuck in mud and you can't do it. Does that make sense to you? Also, a lack of aggression. Generally, people with low self-esteem lack aggression. Aggression isn't negative. You, you must have a, a certain level of aggression to you as a man. You must have that within you. And society, because it's crumbling, and it really is crumbling. Um, I'm 54 years of age, and I'm looking at younger men now, and I, 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 to me, my heart's... It, it, things are wrong in the world, and they're not the same as what it was when I was in my 20s. Completely different. And people are scared, people are, they're under the thumb, they're scared to think, they're, a, you know, especially with social media now, it, it's just crazy. Some of these people that are causing the problems on social media, they wouldn't have survived in normal social settings. So what they've done now is they've got into positions of power and they're able to manipulate things um, in a digital format. So aggression is being pummeled out of you. You have to have a certain amount of aggression. You have to have a tamed aggression. That's what you must have. The ability to go out into the world and, and make your mark. And, and the aggression is what is driving that. Now, negative shyness. I Shyness, everybody has. But what it does, it becomes... It becomes... A hold back for people. They're constantly thinking, I'm shy, I'm shy, I can't talk to people. It's this negative feedback loop. And you want to get over it, okay? You, 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 you've you got to get over this negative shyness. And, and the only way to do it is just to just start talking to more people, giving your opinion when you're in a group. Uh, don't worry about what people are going to say. And that can come into poor social skills as well. Because you've got to a stage in your life where you you may be a insecure or you very well much be if you've got low self-esteem. And because you're, you're insecure, you just think the opinion doesn't matter. So then that comes into poor social skills because you've not got used to speaking to people. Uh, and you can be an introvert and still talk to people. You've got to be able to speak to people. It doesn't mean you're going to be loud and obnoxious, but you have to have social skills in life. Again, addictions are going to come into this. So most guys, what they're doing now, they'll go onto YouTube, they'll watch loads of videos about the problem, but don't take any action. Okay, you can watch 100 videos a day, you can watch my videos of people's videos, but that's not going to solve your problem. Okay, you're going to be addicted to looking at your problem and then trying to find a solution in that. You'll then play video games. You might look, you know, look at other stuff that you shouldn't be watching on 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 YouTube or on. So, you know what I'm talking about. I've got to be careful with the words I use because it'll it'll just come up with the algorithm. But you're going to be addicted to that, addicted to eating food, addicted to a negative lifestyle. So you'll get up, you'll go to work, you'll come home, you'll be on your own, you'll play video games and you watch things that you shouldn't do. Other things is self-doubt. You may get an idea, but all of these all of these thoughts are going to come into your head. You're not good enough. You can't do it. Other people are better than you. They've got other skills. 
Does that resonate with you? Have I kind of like gotten to where you are at this present moment in time? Signs of self or high self-esteem. You're going to have confident direction. You're not going to be worried about what anyone is going to be saying to you. Okay, you're going to think, right, I, I'm going to go for this. I don't care what happens, but I'm going to go for it. You're going to have the ability to be comfortable being alone. There's an old saying, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. You, you like your own company. I always say to everybody, please be comfortable with your own self before you then try and be comfortable with some somebody else, okay? Because if you've got to that stage where you think, I can't stand being on my own anymore, I've got to find somebody, it's a need. Y yes, we're social beings. Yes, people want to be around other people, but you must be comfortable being alone, okay? People with high self-esteem, they, they're not bothered about being on their own. In fact, they want to be away from people. Um, it doesn't mean that they don't want to be with people. It's that, that them being on their own and organizing their own thoughts and just spending time with themselves is very important to them. You don't have any fear of re rejection. It is the kicker. When you are meeting women, because you want to meet a woman, you're going to meet women all the time. OK, so what I do when I talk to women and meet women, I just make statements. OK, I have women pick me up. OK, I've had it done plenty of times. I meet women in elevators. I meet women walking the streets, going in for a cup of coffee because of my energy. They pick up on that energy. So women will flirt with me. Women will talk with me. You know, that has been my experience all the way through my life. And I'm trying to teach that to you. But what I understood is at 16 years of age, I had a mission. I knew what I wanted to do with my life. And that was more important to me than finding a woman. And what was the byproduct of that? And then women were naturally attracted. So you, 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 because you've got no fear of rejection, you know there's an abundance of people out there. Most guys put this focus on one particular woman. So when women, when men get on the phone with me and they're being coached by me, they says they're obsessed with this woman. This woman's pulled away. Uh, they'll tell me things I can't stop thinking about her. She's it's it's distracting my work. That you know they're constantly thinking of how I can get this woman back. How I can get this attention. You don't want to do that. Okay, she, you, you must allow a woman to go away. You don't overthink anything. You just have to get to a stage where you're comfortable with being you. And if you're not good enough for this woman, that's great. You're going to be good enough for you. And then eventually a woman will, will see that. Okay, does that make, make sense? You've, who cares? People are people. You've got to stop elevating these women to these positions in your life or a position in, 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 around your life, what they don't deserve. You, you, she's not your girlfriend. Or if you have lost her, she has been a, a girlfriend. It's because you, this low self-esteem and this horrible energy has been pushing her away. You change that, then she comes back. People with high self-esteem are very focused, okay? They, they know what they want, they know what they don't want, and, and it, it's very important to them that they keep what they want in their lives and eliminate what they don't want, okay? They have a low body count. If you've got low self-esteem, if you're a man and you've slept with loads of women, I'm telling you now, it's disrespectful to yourself and it, it, it's it's a low self-esteem. If, you've, it, if, if you're a guy and you've, you've lost a relationship with a woman and then you're trying to get another woman and you're sleeping with other women, it, it's not good. You've got to evaluate what's gone wrong promiscuous behavior is destroying society. We are not designed to sleep with multiple people. We're not designed to do that. Okay. It isn't part of who we are. I will do another video on that. And I'm going to go into that in depth. Why? And it destroys women more than it does men. Like the suicide right now for women is just going through the roof. And it's deeply disturbing to me. Because I look at these women as as, as daughters because I, I'm, I'm at that age and I look at younger women and the, you, you look at them differently. You look at them paternally when you get to a certain age, okay? When you've got high self-esteem, you're a go-getter. You're going to go out into the world and you're going to go for things that you want to get. You have a desire, you have a mission, and you understand you have a gift to the world. Most importantly, what you've got to own is your own sense of humor. Find a woman who has your sense of humor, but 
own it. One of the most attractive things to a woman is a man who owns his own sense of humor. It is vitally important, okay? So let's look at some practical things you can do, okay? Let's say you're a, a, a guy, you're, you're alone, you've lost a woman, you want to start attracting women, and there's lots of loneliness in the world now. But think about it. Let's say there's 100 guys in your area and you're all alone. Why don't you all get together? Seriously. How many apartment blocks in your town is full of single guys? And you're all walking past each other every day and just say, look, I've seen you hanging about. How about we grab a cup of coffee? And the next thing, you've, you've got other three guys and you've got other four guys. And then all of a sudden, you see, you, you'll say, it could be summer. Let's go for a hike. You guys go out for a hike. You're having a crack. Women see you. The energy, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? It's just by taking that step, by just talking to another man and hanging out with another man. So how do you do that? You join a gym. Start lifting weights. Another thing you want to do is join a martial arts class. If you're going home every night and you're just putting on video games or looking at stuff that you shouldn't be doing, why not be in a martial arts class, speaking to other guys, hanging out with other fellas, learning how to defend yourself, building muscle in a gym, learn to dance. One of the things that guys who come to me with, they're afraid of uh, how to interact with a woman. And when I'm looking at a guy's body language, it, it, the body language gives off fear, self-doubt, and lack of confidence, okay? And, and sometimes I'll spend a day uh, with a client in the field, and, and by the end of the day, he's completely changed. But what I strongly suggest you do is learn to dance, because when you learn to dance, guess what? You're going to be in proximity with a woman and dancing is a form of lovemaking, okay? So you're going to build your self-esteem up. You're going to be used to being around a woman very, very close and you're also going to get your rhythm up. A dancer is, is, is I've dated a couple of dancers in the past. They have a certain energy about them, okay? They just have that energy about them, these female dancers and it's the same with male dancers, so if you learn to dance, again, you're going to be in a social setting, you're going to be used to being around women, and then you can, you can, be, you can be honest with a woman who's in a dance class. If she says, why have you joined? To say, I want to, I want to meet people, I want to get, be confident around women. Just be vulnerable, man, because then when you're being vulnerable, then the, you, you're not going to be afraid of what you're afraid of anymore. Learn a new skill. I strongly suggest you learn to play an instrument. If you already play an instrument, get better at it, okay? Then go and busk. Why not? Go out and just play your guitar in public if you can do that. But learn a new skill. Play, learn the, uh, women like men who play the guitar or saxophone, okay? Go to Toastmasters. Learn to speak in public. You can, if you're introverted, you can still speak in public. Learn things that you're passionate about. Another thing is learn to ride a horse. Most people are afraid of getting on a horse. I learned to ride a horse when I was in, how old was I? Um, 29. My ex-wife taught me how to ride. I, I had ridden horses, but these were, you know, um, horses that just were on a track, you know, when you go out pony trekking. But I, I learned to ride a horse when I was um, 29. Or was I a bit older? No, probably 30, 31. And then, you know, I, t I took to it like a duck to water. And then we owned about three horses. One was a thoroughbred who was an absolute terror. But I was, I, I, now I'm, I'm, I'm an advanced horse rider. I, I, there's not a horse that I can't ride. Um, have I spelt horse properly there? I don't think I have. <laughs> doesn't look right. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. But it's it's the rhythm and it's that courage, okay? Women like men that are on horses. What I want you to do as well is go on a vacation on your own and plan to talk to 100 women. You can even tell them to say, look, I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to build my self-esteem. I'm trying to do things. I've set myself a goal to speak to 100 women. You're the 29th. How are you doing? Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Even if it's a two-minute conversation, I guarantee after you've done that, just that alone it's going to change your life. And the bravery, if you said to a woman after you've, you've talked to her and to say, look, you know, did you, did you find it brave, you know, me coming up saying I'm a little bit shy, I'm a little bit introverted and I'm, I'm trying to talk to 100 women. And they'll tell you, did they find it 
courageous, right? Those are things to do, guys. We've talked about the problem. We've looked at, you know, what high self-esteem is and how it has an impact on the world. But these are practical things to do here, all right? Now, guys, if you're struggling with your self-esteem, if, you, if you're sick and tired of your life where it's at, at the bottom of this video, there's a link where you can book a free 30-minute discovery call live with me, okay? Me and you, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the only thing I ask before you book the call is you must be in a position where you know you need to be coached. I don't want any tire kickers or any people who think they might need to be coached. You've got to a point where you think, look, I need somebody to give me direction in life. If that's you, that's great. If there's any topics you want me to cover in a video, put them in the description. That's what we're trying to build a community here. Um, other than that, like always, we will see you on the next video. And uh, thanks for watching.